Last time on Doki Doki Tropical Rain. The way you guys looked after I said I didn't want to join, it made me feel guilty. And yeah, I'll admit I joined out of guilt. But that wasn't the reason why I stayed. I stayed because... Because I wanted to get to know, know you all better. You all warmed me up... Oh, you all warmed me up to it rather quickly. You're different, Monica. And I'm really glad to have gotten to know you better. Uh... After I let the word spaghetti fall out of my mouth, Monica continued to stare intently at me. She closed her eyes and dashed forward. And upon feeling something on my li oh, I opened my eyes wide in shock. Oh, yo, this CG is pretty good. I, uh, I really like you, Finn. I have for a little while now. Huh? You like me? Like, uh, how so? L love. I love you, Finn. Why? Since when? I'm not angry. Why would I be? I'm just so confused. <laughs>kind of following you and I was following you there's a small moment of silence uh how about we go to your place bad move you never want to go to a girl's house on a first date yeah unless if you're going to escort her home that is we just started dating and you already want to come over didn't your mother ever teach you manners I knew it but she giggled I'm just kidding, Finn. We can go to my house if you want. Uh... I mean, if you don't want to, we don't have to. Who said that I didn't want you to come over? Uh... I coughed. <clears throat> right. We continued the rest of the walk there in relative silence, save for the occasional direction from Monica. It was... serene. The night sky was beautiful and the light from the poles and lit houses made for the perfect vibe. Even though it was like a scene from a shitty romance movie, I was having the time of my life. We arrived at her house only a few minutes later. Her place was pretty close by. Or maybe it wasn't. I wouldn't know. I hadn't been timing our crossfit jog or anything like that. Well, here's my stop. There is once again a moment of silence. Monica smiled and looked away nervously. I know I said we could hang out here, but I believe my parents are home. I believe we should part ways here if that's okay. I nodded. That's fine. Monica smiled. I... I really had a good time tonight, Finn. And I hope we can do it again sometime soon. But for now... Monica pecked me on the chi, quickly pulling back afterwards. Bye bye I slowly put a hand to my cheek as Monica unlocked her door. That felt a little rushed. Are her parents hawks or something? Oh, and one last thing? Hmm? Monica had turned back to face me. Yeah? I really like your hair. You should comb it more often. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, if you say so, Monica, sure, I'll, uh my hair even though I'm wearing a hat and all, but still, sure. She entered her house and she quickly shut the door. I was once again left to ponder, which I felt I had done many times by this point. Uh, today was a good day. No, today was a great day. I turned around and began walking in the direction of my neighborhood, the smile never leaving my face. At least until the home stretch. It was then that it hit me like a pile of bricks. Shit. I hope Yuri is okay. Aw oh, man. We totally left her behind back there. I should probably give her a call. That's a good idea. I pulled out my cell phone and pressed the power button. Uh, nothing. Dang it. It's dead. I groaned and shoved it back in my pocket. I hardly even used you today, you piece of sh**. 
I sighed and put both hands in my pockets. I'll have to ask her tomorrow. I don't know her address, and my phone will rapidly die if I use it while it's charging. Ugh. The one time I actually need a phone, and it's dead. Wonderful. I gotta ask for a new one sometime soon. I muttered to myself. Well, whatever. Yeah, same year, I definitely need a new model. This doesn't take away from the day I've had. It was... It was still good. It is. It really is. Chapter 2, First Date. Ooh, la la. Okay. Ring. Huh? Oh. Oh. You gotta be kidding me. I didn't shut my alarm off? I groaned. We didn't even have- we don't even have school today. Well, now that I'm awake, fat chance I'm falling back under. I sat up slowly and looked around my room. Uh... Yeesh. Well, I think I know what I should be doing today. Spring, November cleaning. Might as well do something responsible for once. I have a girlfriend now. What if she comes over and see sees this pigsty? It's, it's to the curb with me. Well, might as well get moving. Of course, gotta get things uh, clean and spanking new. I tossed the covers off and stood up quickly. Whoa. I fell back onto my bed, having lost my balance. Uh, I stood back up again when I felt good enough to walk. Daylight's a wasting. After getting dressed, showering, and combing my hair, I walked downstairs to begin my attempt at cleaning this place. First stop, the kitchen. Now, while it did look clean to the untrained eye, I opened the nearby cabinet and l o watched an old container of ramen noodles fall out. Yeah. Yuri had come over recently and instead of actually cleaning my past self, um, myself from two days ago, <laughs> anyway, past me had decided the best course of action was to shove everything away in various closets and cabinets. Bad idea, you don't have to do that, because of course, what's the point of organizing if you don't just, you know, organize them properly and just shove them right in? You don't have to do that. For example, my collection has like different figures in each, um, each franchise and series, and in, in, in Minecraft you have to put like your diamonds and one chest and ores and all that stuff and blocks that are need for building and crafting all of that, that that's for an, an example like i said it gave an illusion of being clean so yuri didn't question anything which while i'm thankful for could only get me so far i know that she knew i just hoped her opinion of me hadn't changed Ugh. i said and rapidly scratched the back of my head ah Cleaning. Gotta clean. I turned on some music and grabbed a trash bag from under the sink. When I was about halfway through cleaning my bathroom, I heard someone ring the doorbell. Who? I walked out of my bathroom and into the main part of my bedroom. Then I walked over to my window and peeked through the blinds which gave me full view of the front porch. Uh... It's... Yuri? Oh yeah, you oh yeah, we were supposed to tell her how she's doing after after the festival and she um got f uh she fainted, right. And she's in her uniform. What is she doing here? I saw her reach up to the knock and I realized that I was still standing around like an idiot. I tossed off my gloves and raced downstairs to greet her. I flung open the door with reckless abandon. Aw oh, crap, I did it again. First at the festival and now in my own home. F Finn, you uh, scared me quite a bit there. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to. I uh, just uh, saw you at the door and got a little excited. <laughs> Smooth. That's okay, Finn. I don't fault you at all. That's good, but I'll still apologize. Yuri giggled. Thank you then. It means a lot to me. After that, Yuri seemed momentarily lost in thought. Though, if you don't mind me asking... Hmm? How did you know I was at your door? 
Oh, my window gives me a great view of my porch. I saw you walk up. Ah, that makes sense then. It, that's just like Romeo and Juliet, isn't it? Uh... Wait, I didn't mean... I smiled and I blushed at a little myself. Ah, uh, yep, yep. That's actually the interesting thought, whatever. It's fine, Yuri. I coughed. No, I'm done. Yeah, recording Mona Monica anyway. Even if we wanted to, we couldn't. Oh, what am I saying? I'll just uh, stop talking now. Good idea, Yuri. L let's just change the subject. Anyway, what are you doing here? Uh, oh, right. Well, um, it's a little embarrassing. But I thought today was a school day. I was a little disoriented after yesterday and I was on my commute over when I remembered said commute takes me through your neighborhood so I thought I'd just come by for a quick visit let you know that I recovered well from my accident accident oh shoot I had planned to call and ask how you were doing ah dang it I've completely forgot yeah if it wasn't for my <laughs> phone I would have Called her right away and asked her what she's doing. Thanks a lot, technology! Some friend I am. You did? She blushed and smiled. Well, thank you. Just the thought itself means a lot. Uh, that's not the outcome I expected. Well, uh, of course. You're my friend and I care about you. She giggled. I'm happy to hear that. Happy to say it. Anyway, I have to get going. It was nice to see you, Finn. Oh, of course. It was nice to see you too. Yuri nods and then turns around to walk off. But then she stops and turns back around. Sorry, I forgot something. She reached into her pocket and pulled out a piece of paper then handed it to me. Before I could ask what it was, she practically ran off. Farewell. Uh, see you later? I closed the door and was left back to my empty house. I opened up the piece of paper. Uh, it was her poem from the festival. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. Why would she give it to me though? There had to be a, there had to have a, had been a reason. Wait, hold on. There was a note written at the bottom of the page. The other side. I flipped the piece of paper. I flipped the piece of paper. Salutations. Hello, I want you to have this. You seem to really like it. If your compliments were anything to go off of. So I hope you like it. Yuri. Uh, I smiled. I folded up the piece of paper and put it in my pocket for safekeeping. Then I sigh. Back to it, I guess. As Yuri walked away from Finn's house, she was lost in thought. The words, you're my friend, I care about you, bounced around in her head. They made her smile with glee. He really is my friend. Of course, of course. She felt like a little girl again. She made a friend. Uh, though while that made her happy. Why? Why did it hurt a little bit? Uh, she hoped he enjoyed the poem. Of course he does. Of course he do. Or I do. How was back to work in the bathroom? Why is there so much dust everywhere? After a few minutes of anger dusting, my phone had begun to ring. I sighed. Wonder who that could be. I pull out the f I pull out my phone and check the caller ID. Oh, it's Monica. I swipe my finger across the screen across the screen and put it to my ear. Hello. Hey Finn. I walked into my bedroom, taking my gloves off as I did so. I held the phone to my ear using my head. Sorry to call and uh, immediately asking of you, but do you know where Yuri is? Hmm. Yeah, Sayori didn't, and neither did Natsuki. 
Since I live super close, I even went over to her house. Nothing. So I was hoping you... She trailed off, but I picked up on what she was saying, asking. Uh, yeah, I do know where she is. But couldn't you just called her? She didn't pick up, which is why I went on this whole crusade in the first place. But you said you know where she is? Can I trouble you to tell me? She was at... she was just at my place. She said she had forgotten oh, there that... <laughs> my tongue stopped working. He said she had forgotten there wasn't any school today, and since my house was on the way to school, she wanted to stop by and tell me how she was doing. Considering the whole passing out thing. Oh, that's great. Thanks for letting me know, that saves me a lot of trouble. I had wanted to ask her myself, but if she's doing okay, then that makes me happy. Happy to help? Monica giggled. Yes, thank you for helping. There was a long moment of silence due to neither of us knowing where to go with the conversation. I coughed. So, uh... Oh yeah, the other thing. Other thing? Finn, may I come over to your house? I raised an eyebrow even if she couldn't see it. Sure, but any specific reason why? He huffed. Surely that's the reason no oh, 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 oh She wants to see me okay okay sure he can come over I chuckled at her teasing Sure then Yay There's some more stuff I have to do but by the time you get here everything should be in order Sounds good See you in an hour or so Sounds like a plan Lee Stanley She laughed You're a goofball That's why I love you Mwah. She kissed to the phone. Uh, aw? I hesitantly kissed back, unsure of my actions. <laughs> bye bye After that, she hung up the phone. Uh, alright, well, seems I have to hurry up and finish cleaning. There's no time to lose. Alright, I mean, of course, chapter 2, first day, we'll see how this goes. Around an hour and a half later, I was finally finished. I wrapped my brow to make a point, despite my house being cold and this work not being too strenuous. But I was still happy to be done. I put on another layer of deodorant just to be sure, fixed my hair and walked downstairs. I sat down on my couch and booted up a video game console. Monica wasn't there yet, so why not use some of my free time? Ah, I guess we'll just play some Minecraft or some Genshin or... Perhaps some Sonic the Hedgehog? Once it turned on, I checked out my downloads. Sweet, it's finished. I opened the game I had purchased last night and watched as two logos showed up in my television. After the two logos, I saw the name of the game and the title screen. Two people were present. A female, a male and a female. I looked at the male. Uh... We really do have the same haircut. Oh! I guess we do be playing some Resident Evil then, that's good. Huh. After that, I navigated through the menus. And then started the game. Alright, it's Resident Evil time. Ding dong, bang bong. That must be Monica. I set, the con I set down the controller to go greet her at the door. I smiled and opened the door. Finn. Aw, hello Monica, welcome. Hey Monica. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. Uh, she coughed. <laughs> so, um... Yeah? May I come in? Uh, well, of course. I've moved to the side to allow her entrance. Sorry about that. No harm, no foul. Monica walked past and into my humble abode. Make herself at home. I just cleaned up, so I hope you're not too disgusted. She giggled. Everything seems in order so far. You know how I get about cleanliness after all. I chuckled. That I do, girl. <laughs> Monica continued exploring the house. Until her eyes landed on my video game. Uh-oh. I'm not sure how she feels about video games. But you know what? Who cares? If she doesn't approve, what's a big deal? That's not her business- Oh, I love this game. 
She likes Resident Evil 2? That's cool! <laughs> Looks like we're uh, slowly becoming gaming buddies. And um, not only that, why did we just uh, play Smash with her? Like in the festival, really? And like I said, not that Smash, but that kind of Smash. Shut up. Uh, excuse me? She sat down on the couch and picked up the controller. Oh, sorry about that, but do you mind if I... She gestured to the television. Oh, totally. Feel free. Thanks. I sat down next to her as she unpaused and watched as she tried to adjust herself to the controls. Yeah, used to play, used to playing this with the GameCube controller. Wow. What? I, uh... Didn't expect a girl like me to be into this sort of thing, huh? I twiddled my thumbs. She giggled. Well, I'm not really. It's actually my papa that got me into this sort of thing. Your dad likes this stuff? Yup. Believe it or not, he's a total nerd. We both chuckled. I used to watch him play these kinds of games all the time when I was a little girl. And to say it simply, I was entran entranced. Call me sadistic, but watching him tear through wave after wave of enemies was satisfying. On my 13th birthday, he actually finally let me play and wow, that was probably the second, second happiest day of my life. Second? If that was her second, what was the first? She paused the game and turned to me and smiled. She kissed me on the cheek. The day I met you. Monica quickly turned back to the game, definitely trying to play off what just happened. My face rapidly heated up after that, and I slowly turned back to the game too. Uh, he's really f good at this. Anyway, speaking of my papa, I'm actually rather surprised my parents got together. Hmm, why is that? That seemed like a weird conversation starter, but I can't say I wasn't curious. Also, before I continue, well, kudos to Monica's dad for introducing her to the world of video games and uh, Monica's really, really into it and I didn't know she's playing it with a GameCube controller. But um, as for me, I only played the PlayStation 2 and yeah, never ever tried playing the, the, the Wii, the GameCube, the Sega Dreamcast, all that all that stuff and even the Xbox because the PlayStation 2 is all I had I'm sorry and later on I had the PlayStation Portable uh, the Game Boy Advance SP uh, the works well let's just say that my mother was the total opposite was he mm hmm my mother was super professional her and Yuri would have gotten along she chuckled she was professional, and my dad would love his t would spend his time playing video games. A match made in heaven, as you can tell. I smiled at her joke. They shouldn't have worked together, but they did. They were together for 30 years. They met in high school and just kinda... hit it off. Uh... You keep referring to your mother in past tense. Did she? Monica sighed. Oh, sh uh, yeah. My mother died a few years ago. Oh my, then. Condolences to your mother, Monica. Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry. It's been hard. But me and my papa are doing fine on our own. Uh, may I ask how she passed? Finn, you're overstepping some boundaries. Oh. Oh, boundaries. Yeah, um, I think I am uh, overstepping or going overboard on this. Oh, sure. It was, uh, breast cancer. Really? She nodded. It just came out of nowhere, you know? She wasn't strong enough to win the fight. But I don't blame her. She wasn't exactly in her prime anymore. Well, I... I know you said you didn't want me to be sorry, but I really am sorry for your loss. She kissed my cheek. Thank you. Oh, did she? Wasn't she supposed to say, uh, thank you? Something like that? Or did they just forgot to put on her name? I'm not entirely sure. She turned back, in, back to the game, but only a few seconds later she unpaused. Hey, Finn? Yeah? 
Do you think we'll be like that? Together until the very end? Uh, I mulled this over. I would hope so. She leaned her head on my shoulder. Uh, me too. Hmm. I had sat down in my desk chair and was thinking over the events today. Today was a pretty good day. Yuri came over and even if the time spent with her was short, it was nice. G her giving me her poem was a nice gesture. And then I had a lot of fun with Monica, even we did get pretty serious at one point. But all in all, I had a pretty damn good time. Uh, my life is changing. And I believe it's for the better. I stood up from my chair and switched off my light. I pulled up my shirt and fell into bed. It's late. Usually I would be up into the early hours of the next day, but I'm not so sure if I should be doing that sort of thing anymore. Monica probably doesn't stay up that late. What would she think if I did? Well, um, if I do stay up late at night, then I would be a sleep deprived piece of sh I shuffled around, getting my body into a more comfortable position. Uh, hmm. Oh! Speaking of staying up late, I slowly got out of bed and stood back up. I walked over to the backpack that sat in my corner of my room. I unzipped it and pulled out the book. Portrait of Markov, the title read. I sat back in bed and turned on my desk lamp. Might as well read a little. Catch up with Yuri. <laughs> ah, yes, oh, a little portrait of Markov wouldn't hurt for the night. I wish we were reading it together, though. I always enjoyed it when we would sit side by side and just read. That probably can't happen anymore, though. In her words, I'm courting Monica now. I guess getting with somebody has its drawbacks. You're less lonely by technicality, but you are more lonely because you can't be a bachelor anymore. I guess that's a good thing though. Nobody wants to be a bachelor ever forever. So it's nice? Just depends on how you look at it. Ugh, I'm tired. But this book sure is interesting. It really is, and uh... I uh, really wish if there's like a phys physical copy of an adaptation of this book, I would be down to buy it for like a for like 50 bucks or something. I don't know, or like a 20 or 30 or so. Uh, after a few minutes of reading, I had slowly set down the book. I don't like this feeling. This feeling of, uh, dread? Dread, yet an overarching feeling of happiness. I feel like I've... <laughs> I feel like while I've co accomplished something, yet also taken a step back. Something along those lines. Something bad has been prevented. But something worse has only just begun. I wonder what that could be. I'm not entirely sure. Look, Sayori, all I'm saying is that if boobas are real, I would have seen some by now. <laughs> You're a real goober, Finn. Thank you, thank you. Glad to know that I can still make my best friend laugh. Oh. Speaking of boobas though, um, I already seen yours from another mod that I love so much. Yeah, let's not get into that because of course this is going to be focused more on uh, on Monica at least. No, <laughs> don't you guys get the get the wrong idea? Wait, I'm your best friend? Huh? Well, of course you are. Well, to me. No, you're not, because I freaking love you. But in this mod, I have no choice. I am so sorry. Didn't you think you weren't? Well, no. But it makes me happy to know that you think so. Of course, Sayori. I smiled. Ring. Shoot. Sorry for that weird heart to heart. But I gotta go to class. Shoot. I do too. I'll see you later, best friend. As she giggled and ran off. Uh, she calls me the goober? I shook my head and walked off to my own class. Halfway there, I sighed to myself. Oh, let's hope Kurusu sensei takes whatever excuse it is that I come up with. I opened the door and prepared for a verbal lashing. Oh, 
Oh, oh, we have Caruso in here. Another good, another new character. Oh, good afternoon, Finn. You're... He looked at his watch. His watch, sorry. Five minutes late. Any specific reason why? Uh, he raised his eyebrows. I was, um, in the bathroom? Dang it, there's no way he's believing that. Oh, all right then. I can't blame you for bodily function, so please take your seat. All right then. I mean, sure, if a man needs to take a shit, then of course, I wouldn't blame my body either because I uh, sometimes would take a shit because constipation and all that. Uh, uh, thank you, Sensei. He nodded. I walked over to my desk, took off my, bad at my bag, and sat in the chair. Ugh. Chemistry class. So, so boring. Sleepy. Consciousness. Eating. Chemistry class. Finn. Finn. Finn! Uh-huh. Oh, crap. Question, Finn. How do you calculate the quantity of heat? Oh, it's just MC triangle T equals Q? Oh man, oh, I freaking forgot my calculations and all that sh <laughs> Eh, speaking of chemistry and science and all, I hate math and even equations like this. Uh, he went dead silent. That is, um, correct. I may have been asleep, but I do know my chemistry. I don't, because I'm a fucking dumbass. Even if I do hate it, hey, 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 same minds think alike. The bell rang shortly thereafter and we all packed up to leave, me being the first one out of the door. Gob, glob, I despise that class. Well, to top it all off, you know what they say, math and chemistry.